we've got a brand new beer from Beak. Yep, one of my favourite breweries. This is a Nino and it's an IPA at 6%. But what's it going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're reviewing a beer from Beak called Nino in this lovely cow themed can artwork, very distinctive Beak artwork. Uh, it's a 6% IPA and the hops in it are Mosaic and Muteca. Not usually two hops you see together. But the reason why I picked this up is one of the best Beak beers that I've had, had Mosaic and Nelson. Again, a combination you don't usually get, but it actually really worked well. So we've got Muteca, the New Zealand hop, and um, Mosaic. Uh, so we'll see what this one's like, because uh, they're very sort of big, big distinctive flavours, a very sort of different end of the spectrum, really. So maybe to see how they are together. But I'm already whittling on, and I'm thirsty, so let's crack this open and get it in the glass, see what it's all about. So say Beak of sort of, I don't say they come from nowhere. Last year I had some great beers from them, but... You know, I think they're starting to get consistently good. It's easier for me to buy the Beak beers now as well. Um, this is another one I got from Pross Bottle Shop in Bevington. Um, and look at that, beer in glass. It's a beautiful, golden, hazy, custardy sort of coloured beer. We've got just about one and a bit fingers of head. I don't think that's going to stick around too long, but it's, it's reasonably compacted looks pretty good i mean let's face it there's a lot of beer we drink on the channels that looks like this and usually tastes pretty good so let's see what the aroma's like oh, real pungent aromas obviously the muteca brings lots of lime you're getting that here other citrus fruits there's lemon there's grapefruit in there as well i'm trying to see if i can and they do pick up that slight sort of bubble gum berry sort of aroma that mosaic gives but mosaic also gives a sort of tropicalness as well so there is bits of mango in there but it's it's a really sort of bright heavily aromatic beer that just basically makes you want to drink it so let's go for it cheers everyone yeah not really the i mean the flavors are there quite light soft carbonation it's almost light to the point where it's it's more like a pile out it's six percent low end i think of the of an ipa scale flavors wise straight away you you get a big hit of much more lighter citrus fruits a lot more lemon in there than i would than lime there's a little bit of grapefruit there's a little bit of sort of mixed tropicalness about it It's a really easy drinking IPA. It's fruity, it's very zesty and citrusy. The tropicalness is in there a little bit, but it's it's really in the back, back, in the sort of background, that's the word I'm looking for. What you get is a big lemony, lime, citrus, grapefruit flavoured beer. I'm not really seeing Mosaic do much of the heavy lifting in this beer. But I think what it does is that somehow it sort of it, it holds back the muteca, which gives a big lime hit. The lime is there, but it's it's much more subtle than a lot of beers that I've had, which have had muteca and other hops in as well. So I don't know what the, what the mosaic's really doing. It just sort of it seems to sort of just be nullifying that sort of muteca flavour. I'm not really getting those normal mosaic flavors but another thing about the mouthfeel yes it's soft and it's light but it's almost at the point where it's a little and don't take this the wrong way i know i've said this in other videos it's got a slight wateriness to it it almost has that sort of profile of a sort of supermarket ipa um and and although, you know, I'm not, I don't think I would hold it back in terms of my enjoyment of it, it's definitely there. There's definitely a lot of a lighter beer than what you used to from an IPA, certainly from someone like Beak that usually makes quite sort of thick, 
medium to thick bodied sort of beers, but this is definitely a lot lighter of touch than their normal beers. Still very drinkable, still got nice citrus flavours, and I think that it's just, it's, it's been kept in check a little bit. Those two hops seem to have worked. I don't know how they work together, but they seem to work in a way that makes it a more enjoyable beer. I mean, and this is what I'm always thinking that single hop beers, unless it's a citral, there's not many single hop beers that have really blown me away. Um, I do prefer, and I think beers are always just generally better when there's a blend of different hops. And I think the, the way that these two hops have worked together just sort of amplifies that. It's almost like the two hops together. I don't, I'm not a massive fan of, of, of uh, Mosaic, and I certainly would avoid Mosaic single hop beers. Muteca the same, just because it's so one note in terms of its flavour. But put them together... And you almost like, you know, it's it's almost creates a different flavour entirely. It's a good beer. It's not Beak's best beer, but it's definitely drinkable. So, I have to remember the name, Nino. I don't even know what this means. Nino, why it's got a horse, why it's got a cow on it, I don't know. I'm sure those brighter than me will probably tell, could tell me in the comments. But this is another good Beak beer. Not to the base, their best standards, but still solid, reliable and in these days, you want that from a brewery. And Beaker is starting to show a level of consistency with good, if not great, beers. So, let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Beaks Nino. It's A and IPA, 6%, Mosaic and Muteca. It's not bad. Let's go for the scores. Starting with Aroma. Appearance, flavour, value for money, my overall experience, tighten the scores up, we get a total score off, it's recommended, it's not highly recommended, yes I'd almost say the best supermarket beers are a bit better than this but it's still a solid beer and you know if you like beak beers you probably really like it it's it's not their worst beer but it's not the best beer either it's a solid recommended white snake of beers slide it in slow and easy i even forget my own sort of scoring system it's been so long since i mentioned these these sort of ones so yeah recommended beer give it a go let me know if you've had it let me know what your best beak beer you've ever had is and I should definitely try it. So until the next one, you know what you're gonna do drink good craft beer and keep on rocking.